You've already seen the title, so I won't waste too much time on the introduction. YouTuber number 45,000 is talking about their least favorite Pokemon. Except, unlike many, many, many others who've done this topic before me, I'm not gonna simply sit here and trash on Burmy or some obvious choice for the umpteenth time. I am gonna talk about why I dislike them, but I'm also gonna try and fix them so that they can be less shitty in my eyes, rather than just me bitching for 90% of the fucking video. So, yeah, let's uh, start this off with, well, Burmy. Yeah, I just like Burmy and its line due to its poor stats, even for early game bug type standards. Gen 5 would improve on this, but still. And a poorly handled mechanic of only being able to catch it in honey trees, which takes a really long time. So how do we fix this? Well, what's one thing most bugs have in common? They're fast, and can hurt if they sting you or suck your blood. So let's bump up Motham's speed and attack stats a bit, and let's turn Worm Adam into a wall by buffing up its defenses a bit, not to a ludicrous degree obviously, but to where you'd want to use it on your team as an early game wall until you run into the heavier walls like Chansey or Rapadon later in the game, and the same with Motham, but instead of a decent wall, it can be a decent sweep for early game. As for the method of getting it, well, speed up the honey time. Gen 4 is notorious for its slow pacing, so why don't we reduce one of the biggest slogs in this gen altogether to help not only fix the pacing, but also make it easier to get these guys. Sure, it may not get rid of the unoriginality issue of getting it from trees like Pineco back in Gen 2, but to be honest, I didn't find them reusing this mechanic to be much of a problem. It's just that it was executed super poorly. So that's why for this fix, I'm keeping the honey trees, but speeding it the fuck up. While on the topic of trees though, let's talk about another plant-based Pokemon I dislike, and oh boy, I got a lot to say about this one. It's the Flabebe line. Now, it's not bad because of its typing, nor do I hate it because of its moves. However, I do have issues with its type diversity for said moves, and I'll address that shortly. My main issue with the Flabebe line is its stats. Specifically, its build as well as its focus on special attack and special defense when it's a pure fairy type. Yes, it may defend against poison types, but in context of Gen 6, its debut generation how many people were using poison types in comparison to steel, aka fairies, other weakness? Yeah. Hell, even the creators of Gen 6 didn't give poison types all that much respect. There's only one new poison type Pokemon in this gen, not counting Mega Evolutions of already existing mons, and that's the Skrulp line. Gen 6 didn't even give it a poison gym leader or elite form member. Frankly, I would say Gen 7 gave poison types more of a redemption arc with stuff like Corrosion and the Salazzle line and the like. But in Gen 6, oh, oh, poison was shafted hard. Meanwhile, the Steel type got not only the Age of Slash line, which was really strong and also popular, Clef Key, which was a pretty decent prankster mon, and one of the Elite Four had a friggin' team dedicated to this type. And with a majority of Steel type moves being physical based, as well as stats being mostly physical based, um, yeah, we kind of have a problem here. Especially when Floor just doesn't really get a lot of moves to really cover said Steel type, if at all. Not even really against Poison, except for maybe Psychic. And sadly, that's also a problem for a lot of fairy types in Gen 6, at least the newer ones. They do kind of get shafted a bit in terms of stat builds and or moves, and like Dark and Steel in Gen 2, it would be up to later gens to improve on the fairy typing after a messy introduction the type got. But I am giving Florges and its line preferential treatment slash focus, because outside of Azuril and Ralts, the Flabebian line is the first fairy type you get access to in X and Y. Their first experience with the new typing after all the hype, and by the time it's evolved all the way, it doesn't even stand much of any of a chance against most of its weaknesses, and that freaking sucks! I, okay, enough of me bitching enough. How would I fix this issue? Well, as tempting as it would be to just swap the stats around, I actually got a better idea that can benefit not only Floor just and its line, but similar fairy types with its odds builds in this gen. A move that can swap the physical defense and its special defense. Or in other words, we give it a less crappy version of Guard Swap. So this way, Florges and similar mods who have weak physical defense like non-mega slash generic Gardevoir can stand a better chance against steel types and steel moves while also potentially creating new strategies and or sets for these Pokemon, which also helps out the competitive scene which was starting to explode around Gen 6's debut as well. If not that, then maybe adding some more type diversity to mods like Florges to deal with steel types could help improve this mod as well. Maybe give it Flamethrower, hell even Will-O-Wisp to help combat its physical attack since after all, burn status can cut your opponent's attack stat, but that's just me. Though, speaking of fairies, let's talk mythical slash fantasy shit, the punchline being unknown. Yes, yes, unknown is shit, hold the applause for that original joke. But unknown didn't need to be this way, it got hyped up so much in the anime movies and Crystal's opening, and the concept of it being living hieroglyphics is really freaking cool. It's just a pity that everything else about it is garbage. So, 
how do we fix this? First off, let's go further with the idea of where you catch up. In Gen 2, you can only get unknown in the ruins of Alf, right? Well, why not treat it as a special event, and have all the hieroglyphics turn into one creature? Maybe a pyramid? A tablet? Guys, the limit. Point is, that new form is the real unknown, and the ones we were catching were just fragments of it, which would explain the low stats. It's only a part of the bigger picture, and when combined, the real unknown could have stats in the 500s, maybe even 600, if we want to go crazy with the base stat total. And it would get access to a better move pool in this form too, instead of just having hidden power. So yeah, that's how it'd improve unknown. At the very least, it'd have a reason to come back in future games with this change since hidden power was cut from Gen 8, removing unknown's only move. Anyways. On the topic of older gens though, why was Torkoal Mon on fire and not something like water fire? It's a furnace turtle for crying out loud. Yes, it's muse, smoke instead of steam, but the opportunity to make it a unique type was right freaking there. Hell, you could have easily just said that was steam coming out of it instead of smoke. Maybe you gave it some hams? That joke was terrible. Plus, hey, it's in Lava Ridge, which has hot springs, so you could probably get away with it being water fire based on that too. Just saying it all. Anyways, tangent over. Let's move on to uh, some other punching bags. Okay, oh god, Ultra Necrozma. This piece of shit should not have been available to players to use because it's cheap as all hell and it's... Oh. Alright. Gen 8 removed the method to get Ultra Necrozma, which makes it a lot more manageable now. Hmm. Uh, well, shit. Not many people play Gen 7 online nowadays. Okay, uh, Love Disc. Yeah, that one is actually not that bad. Best fist for that mon is to just boots the stats a bit. Same with Sunflora, honestly. And that can be said about a lot of Pokemon people describe as weak or bad. You just you just gotta bump up its stats and their abilities. Meaning that continuing this video would just get repetitive very fast. Well, shit, that's anticlimactic. Oh well. But yeah, despite the issues I have with the mons I talked about here, I do still like them. They're just more flawed than the ones I really like. But uh, yeah, anyways, since I probably pissed on the Pokemon community in this video, how about I do the same to Digimon? So until we meet again, I'm David Grimm, and thank you for watching. See you in the review for Last Evolution Kizuna, because I'm tearing that shit apart.